you can see that this wall is stepping in and it's actually a bit of a weird profile to it because it steps in and then it hosts these shelves. There's two shelves that sit out from this stepped in wall. We're gonna go back to the ground floor and what we're going to do is create a model in place by going to architecture component model in place. And we're gonna make a generic model, but we're actually gonna do a void form, which is going to cut through this wall. So if we look back at the reference image, you can see it comes back to where that clock is, probably three brick in width, and then there's the doorway. So it should go back to about maybe here. We can just create this void form, click the green tick, see what it looks like. We're obviously gonna to need to bring that up. So if we just drag this all the way up. So now if we click finish model and when we've modeled in that void, it's not actually going to cut through it. We're gonna get an error. The error is that we cannot use a void form. We can't use a model in place void to cut a wall. While still in this edit mode, if we click on cut geometry, we can click on the wall first and it might be a bit hard to select from here, but then we can also select the void extrusion and now it's going to cut it out. So we're gonna make the Extrusion start, actually, let's see how far up above the ground that would be. About one, two, three, four, five, six bricks high. So we're gonna make this about 500. Let's look at the height of it. So that goes all the way up to the ceiling. So this void can actually lock onto the ceiling. We want it to be a little bit further in. So now you can see we've got this void in the wall and we'll be able to create these shelves from that. If we have a look in the Enscape view, we can have a look at what this will look like. And you can see it's currently going up a little bit too high. Also, it's not the correct material. Edit this model in place and bring the void down to match or align to the ceiling. We can go up to the top here under the modify tab and we can press on the paint tool or press PT. We can paint a surface. So now we're going to choose the correct brick material that we've already got on there. And that's probably this one being that it's the only one and we can just paint that onto the surfaces, which makes it super easy, especially when in these 3D views, just to paint on the materials that we need. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials, and resources, as well as four hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.